As they grow older, many people face health and physical challenges that can affect a senior's ability to live independently. Often, living at home, especially alone, might not be the safest option, and honestly, it can be lonely. Kirk Simmet is the CEO of HME Companies, a development and management company that oversees both residential and senior living properties throughout the region. Kirk and his staff understand that finding a more suitable place to live, whether it's for yourself or someone in your family, can actually boost seniors' overall quality of life. That's why HME Care has developed Peaceful Pines, providing senior living that will change your view of what those golden years can really be. All right. Welcome. Yeah, thanks for being here. I've been saying it for, for a long me. time. Appreciate like, it. Yeah. I can't wait to get to the phase of life where I can live in senior living. It's right. so amazing mm. and yeah. you get to be surrounded by friends. We're already making plans like I want all my friends near me. It's yes. gonna be amazing. And you make, it's like kind of like a, a fraternity or like a, you know, yeah. some kind of a dorm. I love that idea. Yeah, it's a great idea. I'll take your reservations. <laughs> You'll take our reservations. Absolutely. I know, Let's you wanna it. be my neighbor? Yep, so sign we, up. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Such a good idea. So, so tell me about Peaceful Pines and even why you named it Peaceful mm. Pines, why it's named that. Yeah, um, thank you for asking. and. So the uh, first uh, assisted living I started was in 2000. It was called Greenleaf. Um, I got it from the name of a restaurant. So not a lot of intellectual uh, thought went into that. And then when we uh, sold the companies and we started a new division back in 2016, uh, we were just looking for a name that we felt would maybe resonate with the seniors. Um, and we kind of did a little market uh, study out there and Rapid was our first site we picked. And and so, yeah, um, Mark Elliott helped us, uh, our marketing guy, with trying to decide what names. And uh, I think he recommended 150 different names, different logos. And you have to look at all the websites, the trademark, those kind of things. And so, in the end, Peaceful Pine just seemed to, to feel and fit what we were trying to accomplish for the seniors. Yeah, so you mentioned Rapid. How many of these facilities are there? Well, Peaceful Pine's brand right now, we, we have one, but we're getting ready to open four new ones in the next year and a half, which is quite an accomplishment. Mm -hmm. uh, these are large facilities ranging from 60 uh, residents all the way up to 120. So uh, wow. in my career, though, I've built about 20 of these facilities. So you really uh, have made a career of this as well. And I think you probably know yeah. better than anybody what makes Peaceful Pines special. Why, you know, I mean, there's a lot of options to choose from when you Absolutely. look at senior living. Yeah, and, and being part of the senior living community, you want uh, the potential residents to have choices. We think that's good. We think that's good for, for everybody. It's good for the residents. It's good for the businesses. Uh, and there are. And what we're trying to develop is to build a regional brand, primarily in the Midwest, and to really tailored to what we feel Midwestern residents want and need. And, and we think we've done a good job of that, creating some of these uh, not only facilities, but the type of care we provide and now some of the new technologies that's come on board uh, to impact that senior care. Yeah, well, what measures do you take to maintain uh, their safety? I know that that is probably a question that a lot of people have when they're coming Absolutely, in. Absolutely, yeah. It's safety is really critical when you're a senior, and mm -hmm. even when our age is kind of critical, too. But Yeah, uh, yeah so uh, the, the state actually does a great job, we think, of uh, Department of Health coming and inspecting. There's, there's rules, there's regulations, there's procedures you have to follow, you have to document that. So they help us keep... Uh, keep our uh, act in line and safety is one of the f first and foremost pieces of what the state looks at. Let's talk about that tempo watch. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, about a year ago when we were looking at this, we knew technology is going to change the senior living business and um, a gentleman uh, did a bunch of interviews on what uh, technology were available. We selected uh, uh, Care Predict. Care mm -hmm. Predict is actually a digital, I call it the Apple Watch for seniors, um, <laughs> that's attached to your wrist and it just monitors everything and it changes how seniors are living both from a life safety and helping our staff become more efficient providing care and, and delivering the services they want. And as that wearable watch, it's with you all the time, right? So it's, yeah. It's, yeah. it's able to probably adapt and know you well and be that first line of defense against anything happening that somebody should know about. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. Uh, any of those who've had Apple Watches, they know the capabilities. Well, this watch was really designed for seniors primarily to monitor anything and everything that you can imagine. The other nice thing that it does when you're in the facilities, it ties out with our... our our doors, so it actually, you can give certain access to certain people in certain locations, and they don't have to worry about a key, they don't have to worry about a, a card. Oh. Um, they just come up their door and they wave the wand and it opens, <laughs> or if they wave the door, uh, wave the wand in front of them and it doesn't open, you're not supposed to be there. Wow, and I so, see that even if the battery goes out or something or goes down, it, it alerts the nurses to absolutely. come and change that. And yeah, so. all the data is uh, ported back into our uh, nursing stations, that, and even our caregivers watch these, uh, wear these watches as well so they can monitor the, the residents at a very quick pace and 
know where to respond right away. Wow. Very neat. Talk about more of the benefits of Care Predict because it's more than a watch, too. It is. Yeah, it's, uh, it just takes all the algorithms of your life, um, your health, uh, your temperature, how many times you walk, your pace, how many hours you sleep, um, and it actually creates a, um, a rhythm for our residents to know and our caregivers to understand. And it just it helps make people more efficient, more aware of what's happening with their life and reduces falls, reduces uh, trips to the hospital, uh, helps staff maintain a high level of care and knowing where to go. And yeah. it's all digitally uh, created. So, yeah, it is amazing. Yeah. yeah. With, uh, you know, you see other senior facilities closing. Yours seem to be thriving. What's the difference there? Yeah, I think that's, uh, uh, that's a really big discussion. We could have another discussion. <laughs> <Yeah. on that. laughs> and so much depends on the community and what type of senior living. You know, and there's nursing homes at the top, which are state regulated. Um, they have their own set of challenges. And then uh, a lot of times the smaller communities, just because of the staffing cost and the, the age of the facility just doesn't make economical sense. So, but in general, the, the senior population is, is exploding. Mm -hmm. um, I'm part of that. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, we... We think there's a growing need for the, the seniors, and unfortunately, in, in business, sometimes there are, are failures, but uh, there's generally a reason, but, but the market itself for seniors is, is growing and expected to grow for the next 20 years pretty, uh, okay. pretty robustly. Mm -hmm. And you're really talking to people m more than people in their senior times, because you're also talking to people who just want their parents to be safe and mm -hmm. happy and healthy yeah. and have camaraderie and like a robust life. Yeah, you know, it's interesting. There's a lot of studies what make people live longer, and social, intera social interaction is one of the highest. Um, I mean, it's nice to take care of your body and everything, but people want to be socially engaged, and, and people want to have a sense of purpose. And so uh, those communities that seniors that we build and the care that we provide are designed around those two pieces. The technology just helps us enhance those, uh, those elements. But, yeah, it, it's really a social environment. And it's fun to watch when you see those communities. I mean, that's why I'm so life. excited to go there. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right? Because yeah. it's like, I mean, it's, you get a community that's just Absolutely. built right exactly where you need it with everything you can possibly need. Yeah. And everything, the good parts are there, but you don't right. have to deal with traffic. Yeah. Right. And everything, right. they bring it to you. Like if you're, your food, <laughs> yeah, if you're hungry, perfect. like everything. And they I have vans to, to haul people to different events. So the activities are really important part of senior right. living. It's very, very important. Well, All right. right. Well, so mark much. us down. Yeah, yeah. Mark us down for sure. Thank you so much. If you'd like to know more about investment opportunities with HME companies, you can reach out to them by phone at 605-900-6043 or find out more online at hmecompanies.net. If you'd like to know about HME Care Senior Living Options, you can find out more online at hmecompanies.net slash senior living. You can also email them and at reach us at hmecompanies.net. This Kellen and Living segment has been sponsored by HME Companies. In this digital world of interactions, HME is committed to getting back to the basics. People first and the rest will follow.